Previously on What's with the Butterfly? I glance at the entrance of the church. <gasps> I see a silhouette of a girl in a wheelchair in the doorway, illuminated by the lights of the setting sun. <gasps> Lis Lise walks towards her and pushes the wheelchair towards us. <gasps> it's been a long time, Nina. My lady. Lisa steps between Nina and me, moving on, moving at inhuman speed. You made her cry. Oh, what the shit? Girl, chill. What the shit did I do? After that night, we discussed old stories about Nina and I. While drinking the tea Rosary made, Rosary was tireless in asking what Nina and I wrote to each other about. I think Rosary is at that age where romance is interesting to her. Yeah, yeah. Time flies as we have a pleasant conversation. Now it's time for Nina and Lisa to go back to their hotel. But as we leave the room to see them out, the trio of children are waiting. Eyes sparkling. I don't know when they got here, but I think they read the situation and waited for us. But it becomes a different story when we see them. Oh God! Oh, your hair is so beautiful. Mmm, smells so very nice. Wow, you look like a doll. <laughs> I don't think she's used to dealing with children. Yeah. Nina panics. Her eyes spinning. Uh, they don't mean you any harm, yeah. <laughs> But sorry about that. Yeah. I apologize to Nina as the elder brother to the trio. S sorry, I tried to stop them so they wouldn't bother you. But you couldn't resist your curiosity, could you? Yulia Chad. No, no. I'm sorry. Oh, I forgive you, Yulia. I expected this of Alan and Mina, but not Yulia. Dude, I forgive Yulia. Yeah, she's a nice girl. Yeah. But it's nice to see her exhibiting some typical childlike behavior. You, you should all be in bed already. Rosary shouts at the church. But they are too occupied with their curiosity to listen to her. Hey, I'm Mina. Or hey, I'm Mina. This weak boy is Alan, and this cute girl is Julia. Is this lady gonna be one of us? Uh, we should go back to our rooms, like Rosanna said. You too. <laughs> Nina is being overwhelmed by the energy of the children. They are very active. Even at night. Dots. In contrast, Lisa doesn't seem to interact well with children, and all she can do is observe. I thought she didn't like children. Yeah. But this is quite interesting. I wanted to observe them as well, as if I'm not involved at all. Come on, Tadayoshkun, give me a hand already. Aren't you their older brother? Yeah, I know. But as Rosary asked me, I try to catch Alan first. Playing tag with me now? Yahoo! <laughs> We red ones are three times faster. What the hell are you talking about? What? Alan runs around shouting something random things. I'm too tired to play right now. Can you just chill the fuck out? Yeah. Oh, watch where you put that hand, Tadayoshi. What, Tadayoshi? Are you a a lull? What the fuck? No, what? Not at all. What? Hey, don't say that, Alan. Yo, and there's isn't that much of age difference between us. Exactly. Tadayoshi-kun, are you really a lull? What the fuck, Rosary Chan? Eek, Yulia, no. I'm not, damn it! Damn, Rosary, Yulia, don't take Alan's words too seriously. Damn. 
Tag with the children gets more exciting. Hee hee hee. You all are very close to each other. Nina smiles and watches us run around. Alright then. <laughs> you know, I had a busy day today. God damn. So I worked together, or so I worked together with Rosary and managed to get the children back to their rooms. It's good to see spirited children. They're the same no matter what country you go to. Yeah, that's true. Lisa, you should have helped us, yeah! Oh, I'm sorry that my children caused you trouble. I don't mind that. Forgive me for not being able to talk with them more easily. Rosary and Nina apologize to each other. Hey, I see there's something odd about Rosary's attitude. What? Hey, hey, Nina-san. I've been re re resisting for a while, but uh, may I hug you now? Uh, Rosary-chan? What? Oh, I can't stand it. Let me hug you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rosary-chan? <laughs> All right, then. Yeah. <laughs> Rosary hugs Nina tightly and pets her. It seems that Nina's flipped Rosary's big sister switch, I guess. Yeah. Nina looks very young, but in fact, she's the same age as me. Oh. Hold on. So Nina is older than Rosary. Age-wise, Nina is Rosary's older sister. But I should keep that to myself. Yeah. My lady. It's getting very cold here. We should go back to the hotel soon. Yes, we should. Uh... Nina looks at me as if she wants to stay with me. It's been a while since we met like this and I have so much more to discuss with her. You know, Nina-chan, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I'm cool with it, but you know, yeah, D depends on Lisa too, right? Yeah. But I can't keep her here too long. Yeah, um, come back anytime. Yeah, come back anytime, Nina. We can talk more next time, you know? Th thank you, Tada Yoshisama. She gives me a big smile. Nina has an expressive face, much as Rosary does. It's fun to watch her expressions change like that. Mr. Tadayoshi, Miss Rosary, I'll s if you excuse us. We'll see you again, Tadayoshi-sama, Rosary-chan! Nina and Lise bow to us, then leave the church. <laughs> I, I want to make her next time. <laughs> what the fuck are you saying? What are you saying? What? Hey, hey, hey. Rosary-chan? She seems to have lost control. Did she break down or something? Or are you into like, you know, how could I fix her? Uh, no, brother, no. Don't fi Dude, she's good as she is. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes, I'm sorry. Old habits and all that. Yeah. An old, an old habit, eh? An old habit, you say. Alright then. I don't think I could keep up with Rosary when she gets frisky like that. Okay, what should we do now? Uh, no idea. We know the goal, but we don't know where to start. Yeah. Yes, but it'll be alright. I can feel that. I hope so. Yeah. Rosary has no guarantee or assurance, but if she said it'll be alright, yeah, I agree with her. It's kind of odd. I'll put the church to sleep. Church? I'll put the children to sleep, so you better go to bed as soon as you can. Don't stay up late now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I went straight to my room. 
the people of Lepidoptera. Still cannot pronounce that, but yeah. What does that mean? Protector. Who is that? Really? There's so much I still don't know. And I can't believe that I got to meet Nina again. Yeah, despite this mess I'm in. Nina is naturally weak, and she can't leave home alone. None of the doctors can find a cure for the mysterious illness rav ravaging her body. Oh, goddamn. Is there anything I can do for her? But if I think about it now, there's nothing I can do. I have no power, physically or politically. As I am now, I won't be much help for her, to her. Yeah. Shit. What can I do? I gotta think. Ah. All right then. Um, all right? I'm at the chapel at midnight. Everyone is sleeping. It's quiet here. Hold on. Am I on Rosary's point of view right now? I guess? Yeah? Huh? I speak to the Lord about my day. It's my daily duty. Yeah, I think I'm Rosary Chan right now. All right. Tadayashi-kun. I whispered the name of the or I whispered the name of the boy I found sleeping on the street three days ago. Everyone works hard to stay alive here. Here, people have to steal from each other to survive. The boy was sleeping peacefully in such a dangerous place. I decided to shelter him in the church. As soon as he woke up, he started to act. He struggled to solve the mysterious things that happened to him. And his attempt has revealed the fact that denies everything about him, as well as his existence. But he didn't give up, trying to stay standing while accepting that fact. He didn't have trouble fitting in with my precious family. It was not by chance that I met him. It was inevitable. And today, Nina visited the church. She is Tadayoshi's fiance. The beautiful, lily-like girl cried when she saw him. I can clearly see she loves him. Why can't he understand how she feels? Or why can't she? Or why can't he understand how Rosary Chan feels? Huh? Rosary Chan? Don't you have a feeling towards Tadayoshi Kun? Huh? Huh? Yeah? To the people of Lepidoptera. That word burdens my heart somehow. It's something that weighs deep in my heart. I think that word will be the key to solving the series of incidents happening around us. I pray for the Lord to give us peace to Tadayoshi Kurokawa. I pray for him. I mean, I pray for him. That's all I can do for him. Uh, uh, Rosary Chan? Is that you? Tadashi kun, when did you come in? Just a moment ago. Yeah, I thought it would be better not to interrupt your prayers. So much happened today. Well, hold on, am I on Tadayoshi right now? Uh, I guess so, yeah, why not? So much happened today and it's all tired me out, you know? Yeah, but I can't sleep at all, no matter how hard I tried. Yeah, I know how that feels. Yeah. The best way to sleep is probably eating. Yeah. So I thought I should move around to try, you know, tiring myself out. As I visit the chapel, I see Rosary praying there. Rosary, under the soft moonlight, looked like the Virgin Mary herself. I'm not watching her pray so much as just admiring her, but I keep that in secret from Rosary. Would you sit next to me? Sh sure, yeah! I sit next to Rosary, as she asked me to. Rosary smells of some sort of nice soap. Oh! Did, 
Did she just take a bath? Fufu? Everything just keep happening to you, doesn't it? Yeah, but uh... But it'll be alright, I think. Yeah! And I'm not alone anymore. Nina's very worried about me. You brought me to the church. And I can get my mind off bad things when I deal with Alan, Nina, and Yulia. Yeah. So I think I'm very lucky here. Tadayoshi-kun? But I haven't returned the favor, you know? Anyone can help out in a soap, soap kitchen, soup kitchen or tutor children. I want to be useful to everyone. I'm still wondering what I can do for them. Yeah. Oi! What? Rosary, hugs me gently! <gasps> hey, hey! Rosary-chan! My head's spinning from Rosary's feminine scent. <gasps> that smells good! It makes my heart beat harder. <laughs> thank you. No, girl, thank you. But, but you don't have to push yourself. You're already a member of our precious family, Tadaishi-kun. Thanks. Uh, can we, like, hug again? Yeah, please. Just like you. I was, I was picked up and raised by someone unrelated to me in the past. Oh. I couldn't do anything at that time. I don't do much even now, but I'm trying to do whatever I can for everyone here. Oh, so I should just do what I can. Yeah. Yes, that will do. Rosary hinted that she had a tough past. She's giving... Of herself to everyone out of kindness, even with a past like that. That's something I have to learn from her. Yeah. Huh? What? What? I shiver suddenly. Then I feel something cold on my back. It's not that something's touching me, but, but as I'm, as if I'm sensing something dangerous. Holy shit! Really? Who's there? Huh? You want to die, bitch? Huh? What, what happened, Tadashi-kun? Why did you shout? I quickly turn around to see who's there. Hey, you want to mess with Tadayoshi Kurukawa? Huh? Ah, oh, shit! Yulia <laughs> chan Kayo! Ah! Yulia chan I'm sorry! I didn't mean to say that! Ah! Yulia chan! I see Yulia standing there, her eyes wide open in fear! Ah, go I didn't mean to! Yulia chan! It's, it's you, Yulia. Sorry to frighten you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shit! I think I'm a little jumpy right now. Because I remember what Lisa said. Mr. Tadayoshi, there's a chance that someone may come to take your life. My lady wouldn't like to see such things happen. I suggest you to stay alert. When we parted with Nina and Lise. Oh, Yulia. Did you have a bad dream again? Fuck. Yulia, I'm sorry. Uh, I did. I'm sorry, Rosanne. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. In that case, I'll sleep with you tonight. Oh. Uh, can I enjoy? Eh? Eh? <laughs> Thank you. The fearful expression on Yulia's face quickly turns to one of happiness. I can see why Yulia likes Rosary so much. And at Yulia's age, I think she's missing her mother. So, I'll be off to put Yulia to bed. You should sleep too, Tadayoshi-kun. With you guys? What? You're right. Good night, Rosary, Yulia. And I'm sorry, Yulia-chan. Ah, I hope you have a great, yeah, good night's sleep and a peaceful dream. Yeah. Good night, Tadayoshi-san. As Rosary lead Yulia to her room, Yulia clings to Rosary. That must have been a really bad dream. 
Now, uh, yeah, I'll go to bed too. Yeah. Is that Rosary Chan? Days later. What? Where am I? What is this place? What? Uh, hello, my name is Tadayoshi Kurokawa. The fuck is happening right now? I'm a regular average 16 year old boy, except that I'm in the middle of some serious trouble. I'm lost! Oh. And I don't have time for introduction like this! Uh huh! Today's my first day off since I came to church. I was enjoying my time reading books in a makeshift library in the church, but. How about we go for a walk? I'll even give you some spending money. We, as in. You and me, Rosary Chan? Is this a date? Rosary's proposal is nice enough to get my attention, and I agree to leave the church. I should have flattered Rosary, told her she looks pretty or something, but that's not important right now. So I was walking in the slums, alone, eating a famous local food called Tofu Chiku. <sighs> Alright then. Things went well until. I realized that I was completely lost. It's not a date? You went alone? What? Some areas of the town are dangerous, so don't wander off too far. Got it? Rosary? I think I wandered into one of those dangerous areas you mentioned earlier. God damn it, Tadayoshi! Because. Oh god, what? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> what the shit? What the shit? Oh my kayo! Oh my tsuka! What? Naranai ka te oi! Oi! Man in jab suit! What? Oh fuck! I see someone who looks really dangerous! And he starts to unzip his jab suit! Right in front of me! <laughs> I run from it as fast as I can. Oh my god. Playing tag with the kids will come in handy here. My legs are trained up for running. Maybe I should give them some sweets as a thank you present. <laughs> <sighs> did I? Did I lose him? Huh? I'm out of breath from running around. That just proves that I lack stamina. I, I really suck at physical activities. <sighs> I think <sighs> I'm going deeper into danger. Shit! I'm not even remotely familiar with this location. I want to ask someone how to get out of here, but it could be fatal if I mess up and ask the wrong person. I wish I could find someone from the soup kitchen. Uh, hello? Hold on. Is that you, Lin? What? I hear men shouting from out of nowhere. What's going on? I know I should try to see what's happening, but my curiosity wins out. I approach the scene. Lin Chan! Oh, her voice! Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, shit, did I do Lisa and Lin the same voice? Shit, I think I did. Oh, God, uh. Uh. I won again. Now pay what you owe. Fuck it. Well, too bad. A bunch of vulgar guys and a tall, beautiful woman are at the table playing some kind of game. Are they playing cards? It's interesting to see a card game in the slums. So they must be gambling with cards. 
I'm surprised that the town has fancy stuff like that. And that woman! Isn't she Lin? That old friend of Rosary Chan's? I can't forget that dagger sharp gaze. Does she stare at everyone like that? Uh, please stare at me like that. Uh. Sure. Why not? I don't think it would change anything. <laughs> As the man finished shuffling the deck, he reveals five cards to each person. Isn't that poker? I don't think I get to see that in the slums, either. I have no idea who brought it here. I learned that poker is a game of wits and intelligence, where it's all about interactions. Yeah, but when it comes to the slums or the ghetto area... Yeah, sometimes you gotta cheat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <sighs> Thugby, you sound fake as fuck. I guess one got a pair of threes and the other got nothing. Their faces are telling me what they have. Are they stupid or something? Yeah! Can't see their hands from here, but I, judging from their words and expression, even an amateur like myself can tell their hands aren't very good. Raise. Oi, oi. Omae shoki ka? Maji day, bro. Kochi wa sugee no ga kita te yu no ni baka na yaru da ze. Na, mou ichi do chance o yaru. Drop shita hou ga mi no tame da to omou ze. Uru se ra, just show me what you got. Ah, sasuga aniki. Yasashi otoko da ze. Heh, why should I run from a match that I know I will win? Show your hands already. So. Everyone puts their cards on the table. Three of a kind of Lin, one of the men has a pair of threes, the other has no pairs. So, I win again. Come on, be quick. Don't be a cheap ass for pennies. M <sighs> there you go. That's how people ruin themselves with gambling. I've heard that the magic word in gambling are one more time, which just leads losers to lose more. And those guys are perfect proof of that theory. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> you don't stand a chance at all. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. The other thugs start shuffling the deck. Oh, wait. I think I briefly saw them trying to swap cars. <gasps> I knew it. Lin keeps staring at the men as if she didn't notice it. The man grins as he deals out the cards. Unless my eyes deceive me, he cheated this time. Oi, mate, Kora. Oi. The men's hands pause as Lin shout at them in. An intimidating tone. Hey, what a pity! You restored to cheating when you start losing. And why am I using my own voice? Shit! Fuck it! Oi, oi! Igakari wa yoshite morao ka? So, so, ore tachi ga ikasamashita shoko ga doko ni anda yo. Wow, their attitudes are proof enough that they're cheating. It's the easiest thing in the world to see. I'm sure they aren't really suited to gambling, but she doesn't have any solid proof that they cheated. <sighs> Try harder if you want to cheat. I forgot her voice already. I'll be getting a flush. The smartass will get a royal straight flush and a full house for the bald guy. Am I correct? No. Wow! She gets their hands! I knew she was no ordinary person. I don't know how she really got it right, but from what I can see about those men, her guess is 100% correct. They keep Lin from folding by giving her a moderately good hand. I knew it. A flush for me, and you guys got a royal straight flush in a full house. Do you guys know what Cheater deserves here? Huh? 
You wanna die, bitch? She's so scary. Seems like there's a plenty or penalty for cheating here. I think they have some kind of rules on their own. I see the man drawing something shiny from their pockets. You really suck at gambling if you don't cheat. You guys cheat when you're losing, and it's too obvious. <laughs> How come all these men are useless for anything but sex? Oh! Lin taunts the men as if she wants them to fight her. Doesn't she know that they got weapons? I want to shout and let her know, but I'm too shocked to speak at all. Whoa! One of the men charged angrily at Lin with a knife in his hand. I know it's weak of me, but I shut my eye in fear. But as I hear the sound of metal against metal, I open my eyes to see what's going on. No! Tonfa Kitao! Tonfa! Holy shit, girl! Then crossed a pair of metal rods in front of her, blocking the man's knife. Are those... Tonfas? I read about them in the books once. Tonfas were used in the ancient style martial arts in southern Japan. But I can't believe that I get to see it in action. And you wipe out a knife when things don't get your way, huh? Have you no morals? You're about as same, or you're about as much use as livestock. Let's use even. At least you can eat livestock. Really? Left, right, left again. Another left, then right. The man's knife doesn't even scratch her! Hoot. Then swiftly dodge all his attacks, as if she knew they were to move. And sent her to finish. Your moves are too obvious for me! Then <laughs> knocks the man's knife away with her left tongue five, then strikes his face forcefully with the right one. Whoa! That gotta hurt! The man's lost one of his front teeth, and blood is gushing from his mouth. I'll take you. It'll take you a hundred years to hit me with a move that basic. <laughs> yes? You didn't say your name, buddy! Hero? Scarlet Red Star, huh? Scarlet and Red are the same thing, you dumbass! Hey! Her tonfa hits her jaw, or hits lower jaw. The bulky man falls to the ground in two hits. No matter how big you are, you can't stand standing if your brain's shaking. Now. Lin stares at the man- at, at, Lin stares at the other man who's starting to stand up. It's the same shit! I'm telling ya, or I'm telling ya, I've got no time to listen to all this crap you're spewing! Then steps towards the man and hits him in the face before he's even finished shouting. Is this place full of morons like them? <sighs> I I'm impressed! She took down those tough guys in no time! Those thugs are foaming at the mouth and they don't seem to be getting up! 
I don't think they're dead, though. W wait I see him coming! Who? I had to hide quickly. That guy in jumpsuit who tried to talk to me is coming this way! Hey, you there. <laughs> Would you take care of those bastards for me? <laughs> oh shit! Fine by me. They're all yours. The man in a jumpsuit grabs the guy Lin defeated and walks away with them. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Their painful scream echoes up to the sky. Incidentally, nobody has seen those men in the slums since then. <laughs> but that's another story. Oh! In fact, yeah, that's another story for W.A.S. The Hourglass of Liptoptra. Oh! Oh god, they got butt fucked. Nice. Uh.